So I heard you want to beat the Lost Sector fast. What's good guys, it's Zen, and I'm here with your daily Lost Sector guide. Now I have over 4,000 hours in this game, so if you listen to these tips, we will get those runs going as fast as possible for you and get those exotics. Now this video is a shorter version of the one I posted last week. I'm new to this YouTube thing and I wanted to test if short videos do better. If you want to watch the full version with the build that I used and the location of the Lost Sector, click the link below. Also, before you farm, you may want to check out these two videos. I had a lot of people asking me how to get triple 100s and what power level they should be farming at. If you need that info, there you go. Watch those and then come back to this one. Now this guide will be universal, meaning that any class can use it. With that out of the way, let's hop right into the video. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you load into the Lost Sector is throw your grenade down so you can proc your Devour. You're going to need this to clear the adds pretty easily. Basically what you do is get your Devour, get an enemy low, and then just finish them. That way you're invis and you're healing from the Devour. So basically we're just going to clear this room out. You saw me stun the, the uh, unstoppable because he was right in my face there. But typically what you're going to want to do is exactly what I'm doing right now. Just clear out the room first so that you can deal with him without being shot at. And when you're glaving him down, you're going to want to hold the block button as that increases your cast speed. So we'll just clear out the room and then we'll take care of him. Now you can deal with the unstoppable in any order that you want. Typically I recommend clearing out the room. But if nothing is shooting at you, and if you're confident, then you could just do what I did there. Then you're going to come to this next room, and you're going to, again, clear the room, and then take care of the champion. Now this Lost Sector is super short, and I would say it's super easy, but the only thing that's difficult about it is the last room, the boss room. You'll see what I mean, it gets pretty hectic in there. Now when you get into this room, you're going to want to take care of the Scions first thing, because they're right in your face. Take care of all three of them if you can. And... It is a little bit difficult to say what to do here. I like to stand right here, but sometimes there will be uh, one of those legionaries in that cave to my right right now. So what you're, what you're going to want to do in a perfect world is just go for the barrier immediately. But as you can see, that's a little bit difficult. There's guys to your right and a guy on your left, and you can't really peek to the right because then you're going to get hit with explosive damage. So just look for an opening and try to take care of the barrier from this left side here. Got him, so we could just take care of him really easily. And now we're going to want to do heavy damage to the boss. Now you can see why we switched to a grenade launcher. He is moving around so much, and he often jumps back into cover. So we're going to run out into the open a little bit uh, in a second here. Because honestly, he doesn't do a whole bunch of precision damage. Like if you're jumping around a lot, it's kind of hard for the boss to hit you. Then a champion is going to spawn, and you're going to do the same thing. Sometimes you're going to have to jump back here for some health, no problem at all. What you're going to want to do is clear out the adds, take care of the unstoppable, and then focus on the boss again. Just using your linear, your glaive, whatever you can shoot at him. This boss room can be a bit difficult because there's not much cover, you know? Any, you can get hit from pretty much anywhere in this boss room, so... Just be a little bit careful, but it is pretty simple. You're just going to glaive the unstoppable down, and then focus back on the boss. Now, what the boss does is he spawns two, well, two more legionary, two more nightmare legionaries. So you're going to want to watch out for them. But yeah, man, pretty simple stuff. When you get the boss low enough, he's going to run upstairs. And that actually puts him in a really easy position to do damage to him. Actually, one thing you can do is after you kill the barrier, you could just stand up here and fire damage off on him. Nothing is going to be able to hit you from up here. I didn't do that in this run, but that is a fantastic way to deal with this. But either way, when the boss does come up here, you could just sit on that head glitch that I was previously sitting on and arbalist him down if you have the shots, or you can come up here. You see I'm dealing with him with my glaive because that's all I have. But yeah, man, pretty simple stuff. Regular four or five minute clears here. Now before you destroy your mouse, clicking off the video to go farm with your new strats, I'd like to re-grab your attention for 10 seconds. First of all, don't forget to check out how to get triple 100s and what level you should be farming Lost Sectors at. If you don't know these two things, your runs will be much slower than needed. Also, here's my issue bro. Only 2% of my viewers are subscribed. This is so sad. You've never seen a YouTuber with a ratio like this. <laughs> like what are we doing here bro? Now here's a trade offer. I give a good guide. If you find any value in this, you give a good sub. I post daily Lost Sector guides at a minimum, but I also work in some entertaining stuff. 
There's new Destiny 2 videos daily, and I also post Pokemon if you're into that game. Either way, thanks for watching, good luck farming, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next Lost Sector.